Hi, welcome to the Bee Equipment Essentials series on how to build a hive. This video series and the book from which it is taken is designed to give the beekeeper with some woodworking knowledge enough information to allow them to construct their own equipment. Rather than repeat all the basic information and to shorten this video, please watch the introduction segment of the series before watching the individual segments. And most important, when working with power equipment, please be careful and take all safety precautions. So let's make a telescoping top. We finally made it to the top of the hive. You need to have something to protect the bees from the weather. Bees don't have any problem with the weather when they are in a tree or in the walls of your house, but sitting in the middle of a hayfield exposes them to all sorts of adverse conditions. Over the years, hive become warped, weather beaten, and outright cruddy, regardless of the best intentions of the beekeeper. It is extremely embarrassing when you are showing your hives to a group of students and you can't get the cover off because it is warped or fits too tight. For easier removal and replacement, I recommend an additional one inch to the width and the length of the telescoping top. The parts required for a telescoping top are relatively simple with the exception of the metal. I use 3 8 inch plywood from a scrap pile to support the metal. First, cut two inch strips of wood from your stock lumber. Then, cut the two inch strips into two 22 and 3 8 inch sides and two 17 and 1 quarter inch ends. Drill starter holes on the ends of the longer sideboards. This will reduce splitting when you assemble the corners. Glue and screw the sides and ends to each other, all the time making sure the corners are as square as possible. Then, add a wooden top to hold them square. This provides a solid support since the metal covering is thin and will not support any weight. If the wooden portion of the top doesn't line up exactly, trim the extra off and smooth it out. Now would be a good time to paint the cover. It is easier to paint when the metal is not attached. Now we'll start on the metal portion of the top. Lay the sheet of metal on a flat surface and center the wooden top, leaving an inch surrounding each edge. Cut the metal to size. Depending on the metal you use for the top, you may be able to use a utility knife to score and snap the metal apart. This is especially true if it is thin aluminum. This picture is a summary of the cuts needed to produce a metal top. It is not drawn to scale. Use the pause button to review this layout. After cutting the metal to size, the first bend is made one inch in from a long edge. A metal break helps, but bending the metal over the edge of a workbench also works. Again, using your top as a pattern, mark the opposite side fold and the corners where the folds and additional cuts need to be made. Cutting a shallow V on each side of the line will make the corner fold neater. Also cutting exposed corners at a 45 degree angle removes some of the sharpness and finger cutting potentials of the completed top. After cutting where you marked, bend the second side of the metal where you marked the fold and bend the ends of the metal to match the top. When forming the corners, bend the two adjacent edges of the metal over to form an overlapping pattern. Screw the corners to the wooden cover. I use number eight by one half inch slotted hex washer head sheet metal screws to hold the metal in place. A nut driver on an electric drill allows the screw to be screwed in without drilling up. Finish attaching the metal top. Here are some additional considerations you need to take into account when making a telescoping top. Please use the pause button to review this slide. Additionally, a very good suggestion is to contact a local commercial printer and ask for used printing plates to use for the top. Printing presses use aluminum sheets to actually print the material. They are single use plates and are recycled when the printer is finished. Here is the drawing for the telescoping top. Please use your pause button and review the drawing. A well constructed top will remain serviceable for a long, long time. This video along with five additional videos in the series, contain all the information needed for you to construct a complete hive. The videos in this series are how to build a hive stand, a bottom board, an entrance reducer, hive bodies, an inner cover, and a telescoping stop. The Bee Equipment Essentials book 
is the one place where you can find all the dimensions and instructions needed to construct the basic equipment used by backyard and serious sideliner beekeepers. The Bee Equipment Essentials book is available through Wickwack Press at wickwacks.com by emailing me at ornocohoney at p-i-t-e-l dot net. Also, a CD with all six videos is available from ornocohoney at p-i-t-e-l dot net. For more information on this book and the author of this series, please see the introduction segment of this series. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it has been a help to you. Please tell your friends about it and happy beekeeping.